around you. It's shit as far as the eye can see. I hate to break it to you, but there is no fucking Robin Hood. If there's no Robin Hood, then why don't you become Robin Hood? It's gotta be better than feeling sorry for yourself. Crying about your hard life. Shut up! Shut the fuck up, damn it! I'm serious! I'll kill you! Then do it. Keep chasing your tail like a dog if that's what you want. If you kill me here, then you'll just end up proving me right. Ugh. That's all I know how to do! <clears throat> I'll side note for up again. You know the sad thing is, it's like that in America too. I guess really most of the world it's like that. Where unfortunately in life, when you're working, a lot of times you do have to do fake laughter and you do have to suck up and not be yourself a little bit sometimes in life because the hope and in hoping maybe it works out and you get in higher positions or. Get further, you know, make more money, that kind of stuff, impress people. Unfortunately, that's that's just how our world is now. I mean, it's about, well, actually, our world's been like that for a long time, but it's true. It really does. And it really is like that in the real, real world. I just wanted to bring that up. But yeah, that was, uh, that's not the whole scene, but I just, yeah, I was already recorded, started recording right there. But yeah, the infamous market scene. Uh, when I first watched the show last year, uh, Man, like and that, that scene blew me away. I would, I literally said when I was watching it, I literally said nothing. I was speechless. I was quiet the entire time. 
Shows how good the acting was in that scene. How perfect it was. You know, props to them. I, I, I was like, oh my god. And um, it, it was it was just like, oh, holy shit. That was a good scene. Very intense. Yeah, we're, you know, the, you know we're, like I said in my other video, they, they finally exploded you know, between them two. And like, the sparks were lit, you know, and they and went off. And I mean, it was going to happen either way. But, uh, so, yeah, but I love that scene. It's one of my favorites of the show. It really is. And, by the way, in the manga, it's very, you know, the, I think some of the dialogue is different. And I think, I think the scene's a little longer in the manga. I could be wrong. I can't remember. But, um, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty intense. It always will be. And I don't know how many times I see that scene. It's always intense. And I've seen that scene, like, three times now. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, that doesn't mean I watched the show three times. I mean, first time ever watching it. And then when Chandler watched it, and then the first, and the, actually the first time I watched it was, uh, like truly watched it was on YouTube. Actually, that scene's actually the scene that made me want to buy the show. Because I remember I watched that scene on YouTube before I bought it, and I was like, yeah. he's like, you know what? I'll buy this show. And I, and because of that scene, I bought it. And I'm glad I did, obviously, as y'all can tell. I'm glad. But, you know, you know, Rebby, you know, talking to Rock and stuff and saying that's all she knows how to do. And, which is, yeah, I mean, I, how she's been, how she's been, how her life's been, I mean, I understand when, on that sentiment, you know, when she says that. Man, that is true. That's all she knows how to do. And, uh, Rock is the only person who's ever challenged her, sort of, I guess you'd say. And then, you know, I, and she's scared that you know, you know, Rock brings out the best in her. You know, she she doesn't want to admit it, but Rock is changing her as she sees people. Well, as in people like him, I mean. And uh, she's never had this. She's never had to deal with this before, and it scares her because she don't know how to handle the situation. You know, she's never had to deal with a person with like him who's that strong willed and. And he's not he's not fake or anything. He means what he says and he doesn't treat her like shit. And that's why Rock's telling her he's scared that she's he's just letting her know he don't want her he doesn't want her to be like those his bosses and treat him like shit. He doesn't want her to be like that and letting her know and then being honest with her, letting her know that she's the reason he joined. And it is true. That's the reason Rock joined was because of her. And he wants her to know that. And he do, he's, he doesn't want to, you know, her, their relationship to be just this, you know. And um, so that's, that's how it ends, you know. She pretty much tells Rock that, you know, she's in her own way, I mean. She's, I guess you say, sorry. And she said, for now, she'll never give him any trouble. She pretty much gets him now. It just took all this to, you know, realize that. I mean, that's Revy, though. She doesn't. You know, she doesn't, she emotes differently than most people. You know, she, like she said, she, that's all she knows how to do. She, uh, you know, through anger and stuff and the way she acts, you know, how she acts about killing people and stuff. You know, she acts like that because, you know, that's how, that's all she knows. That's the kind of life she's had all this time. That's the only thing she knows what what to do. And there's nothing else that, that she knows because she's never had a normal life and a good life. And Rock's the only, only way that he's the only way that's going to have her have her have her improve her life and have better days starting from this day. Well, obviously, Rock's life does change after this, but uh, you know, still, she was always after this scene. She, she did show she cares about him, especially at the end of the anime. She shows she did she did, she could have shot him again, but she decided to not not to, and she stuck by him in the end. You know, she, I mean, she straight up tells him she she's always got his back. And it took this scene to make her realize that that she does care about him too, like he does for her. She just shows it in a different different way, more confrontational way. But that's just how Revy is. That's the best you're gonna get from her. But as we know, the series goes on, and in the manga, she does break down a little bit around Rock because she does act differently around him, and she, we see a side of her that she's never had to deal with. So it is cool. And uh, to make this this scene also shows. Oh crap! 
All right, we're still going. I was afraid he might stop at 10 minutes. I'm at 4K30 right now. No, I'm still going. But um, it also sh- to me, this also shows how good this show is. And I hate the reputation this show gets. I really do mean this. To me, this is, most people think this is only an action show. That's it. Like I've always said, to me, this is a character drama. This is what this is really the point of this show. The action is secondary. It always will be. I don't care what anybody says. It's a character show. It's kind of like Legend of Korra and, and Avatar: or Last Airbender. Yes, there are cool moments in it, action-wise, but it's a story-driven show. First, first, fir- yeah. You know, the the main thing is a story-driven. That's the main part of the show. Action is just there. And yeah, action does help tell the story in a visual way, but it's a character drama first, first, fourth, however you say it. And I hate that people just see the show, they blindly see it, as, say they only watch, I don't know, maybe an episode or two, or they only watch the action-heavy episodes, and they just see it, all oh, that's all it is, it's nothing to it, it's not, you know, they just see it as, oh, that's cool as fuck, oh, man, hmm, that was cool. And they either, and there are some people, you know, they watch it, and then they don't watch, they do watch all of it, but some of them still don't get it, you know, that's not what this show is. And I hate that's the repetition, right, right, that. Sorry, tongue tied. I hate that's the reputation the show gets. It's just an action show, nothing more. It's like they see it as just dumb fun, and it's not nothing to it. But no, it's more than that. That's why, like I've always said, the show, like other shows in my childhood, this I mean this feels like a show I would love as in my childhood. It feels this feels like one of the on the show a list of shows that changed my life, like Avatar did, and Star Wars: The Clone Wars did for my in my childhood. Yeah, where it changed me, how I see shows and how I feel about myself. And I really mean that crap. I don't. I'm not. You might think that's stupid to me saying, but I'm just being honest with y'all. And y'all, I'm always an honest person. And you know, this show changed me like those shows did. You know. So this is a long video, but whatever. I, mean, I had to talk about this scene. So, well, I mean, that's the whole point. I mean, I mean, I, that's the whole point of me. You know, watching this again, I, and I was looking. That's all the point. I, I was after my reading the manga now, all of it, seeing the show in that form. I mean, I was, that was all the point. Me rewatching this and, talk, and telling y'all how I saw it when I talking about you know when I first watched the show, talking how I felt on these scenes. You know, that's all the point in these videos. Yeah, I'm probably talking probably more than I should have. And this, I guess, this video doesn't need to be 13 minutes long, but you know, whatever. Just want to get my point across. This means this is probably the longest video I've ever done on my phone. I think thirteen minutes. I could be wrong, but I believe it is. But like, no, it ain't. No, no, no. My longest video was like thirty something minutes, or exactly thirty minutes. And actually, it was a it was about Black Lagoon. Right after I watched it, I think it was like thirty something minutes. Thirteen minutes is still a long time, but yeah. But all right, that's it.